Most men torpedo their chances of getting girls by making these mistakes on their dating profile that destroy their first impression. In this video, I'll be roasting several profiles that you DM'd me so you can make quick changes on your profile that will get you more matches. Hi, I'm Blaine, I'm a dating coach and I've been featured in Forbes, New York Times and Insider for helping thousands of clients like you. Let's get into it. Up first, let's take a look at Billy. Right off the bat, this is not a good first photo because I can't see what he looks like. I actually like this photo. It's silly, it shows personality, he plays the guitar, he's outside, but it should come later in his profile. Your first two to three photos need to be really clear on exactly what you look like. I'm also not a fan of this first prompt. I'll fall for you if you're kind, goofy, and patient. You have very limited real estate on your profile and it should all be used to talk about who you are, how you spend your time, what you bring to the table. You can look at her profile to determine if she's kind, goofy, and patient, or better yet, get to know her in person. Okay, this next photo is just not good. It's like a fish bowl lens and it's not a becoming photo, a photo on a hike with his dog amazing could be great it's just the angle the sunglasses it's not doing anything for him so he shouldn't use that one the photo of him on the beach could be used in the second half of his profile i'm talking four five and six placement to highlight a way that he likes to spend his time that he's outdoorsy but i still don't have any idea what he looks like because i can't see him at all in this photo so it's too high up in his profile one thing I'd love to know about you is what you like to do that makes you happier than anything else. This is way too generic and broad. It's not an easy thing for her to just reply to, to start up a conversation. It's not nearly specific enough. And of course it tells me nothing about him. Okay, the photo with his friend, he's the sidekick here, not main character energy. You need to bring main character energy to your profile. More sunglasses, more hats, that's a no. A hallmark of a good relationship is honest communication, quality time, together and apart, boundaries, similar interests and hobbies. I think most people can say, yeah, I want honest communication, quality time. It's not making him stand out from the crowd, so it's a no. I gotta give it to him, his dog is super cute, but your dog does not get a solo shot in your profile. Take a photo with your dog. Take a few photos with your dog. Looks like they spend a lot of time together, but he doesn't get his own real estate. And the photo in the palm tree is doing nothing for me. It took me a moment to even see that he's there. I don't know what's going on and I can't see what he looks like. That's gonna be a no for me. Overall, I think it looks like Billy has a lot going for him and spends his time doing fun things, but his pictures are not high enough quality where I can even tell what he looks like and his prompts aren't telling me anything about him and rather focus on what he's looking for. So I see a lot of room for improvement here and I'm gonna give Billy three out of 10. Let's look at what Josh has going on. Okay, right off the bat, this first photo is not a good first photo, but it could have a place someplace else in his profile. I love the smile, I love that it's candid, but I don't get a good sense of what he looks like in his first photo. What would make it better is if he was looking at the camera directly. My best dad joke. Hmm, maybe a joke about pizza? Nah, it'd be too cheesy. That's cute, that is a dad joke. It's not necessarily telling me any, anything about how he spends his time, but it's telling me he's got a sense of humor and uh, he doesn't take himself too seriously, which I like. Okay, looking at these next two photos, he's in suits in both of them. This makes all three of his first photos in a suit. That's not what I want to see. I wanna see some variety. Assuming this guy doesn't wear a suit all of the time, I wanna know what he looks like on any other day of the year when he's not wearing a suit. Also, his second photo is with a friend. Maximum, I want you to have one photo with other people and it should be in the second half of your profile, not in the top three photos. The good thing about these photos though is I do get a good sense of what he looks like. Teach me something about dancing. You will definitely not be the worst dancer at the party if I am there, but I'm always down to get down. I like this one. It tells me again that he doesn't take himself too seriously. He's honestly giving like somebody else a boost saying he's gonna be the worst dancer, but he's also saying he's down to have a good time and will dance anyway. So I think that's cute. 
I honestly like the photo in scrubs working. I have seen doctors put photos that go actually horribly wrong. I do not want to see the patient. I want to see no skin of who you are operating on, but he does a good job here just showing him working and nothing to ache factor. Best travel story, got caught watching sunset and then having to hike down the four mile trail of Yosemite at night, unplanned. Okay, I wanna know more. Did you make it down? Uh, what happened? Did you take any tumbles? There's a lot of questions that could be asked about this story. And it tells me also something about how he spends his time. He's outdoorsy. He's someone who stops to take time to enjoy a sunset. Um, he's been to Yosemite, so multiple conversations can happen from there. So I like that one. Overall, Josh's profile is pretty good. I feel like I have a good sense of who he is and how he spends his time. What I would really like to see is more variety in his photos, what he's doing and what he's wearing. So I'm gonna give Josh a seven out of 10. Let's look at Rennie next. Right off the bat, you might know what I'm gonna say here. You never have sunglasses in your first photo. That's always a no. I have no idea what this guy looks like. I do like the feature on Hinge where you can do a multiple choice question, but this question isn't interesting because he's asking for what your first getaway should be. Bahamas, Dominican Republic, or Puerto Rico. These are all kind of beachy destinations that don't differ from one another a ton. So it's not actually going to tell me a lot about either person by what they pick here. I would choose something totally different or make the getaway options. One's a mountain destination, one's a beach destination, one's a city. That's how you're gonna learn about somebody. Best travel story, seven days in Cabo San Lucas, eating tacos, relaxing, drinking margaritas, and exploring. Is there anything else to do in Cabo? Anyone who's been to Cabo also definitely ate tacos, relaxed, had margaritas. So this is not interesting. It's not actually a story. It's very generic and it doesn't get me interested in knowing more. Wow. This is an awful photo and he's waxing his nose hairs. This might be a funny photo on your Instagram for your friends. It's not for your dating app profile. Okay, we've got a video here and it looks like maybe his hand got bit by something. I don't really know what's going on. I can't tell and I can't see what he looks like. That's a no. A shower thought I recently had. Since I don't have roommates, it means I can just walk around my house naked whenever I want. It took you getting in the shower to realize that? This doesn't seem like an aha moment. It doesn't give me anything to smile about or laugh with you about. I Maybe he's trying to flex that he doesn't have roommates, but it just doesn't come across that way. That prompt is gonna be a no. If you're gonna use a photo from a sporting event, one, the sport, and more importantly, the team needs to be a parent because that's something that you can connect with somebody on. I can tell that he's a cuter guy than comes across in the photo of him waxing his nose. So that's a good thing, but it's just not obvious. This year, I really want to swim with sharks and travel as much as possible. I guess swim with sharks is interesting, but I would make that, if you were gonna use that prompt, I want it to be more specific. This year, I really want to travel to South Africa to swim with sharks. Give it a little more specificity to make it more interesting. Travel as much as possible is so generic and boring. I've got to say, I find the skydiving photos pretty boring too. I feel like everyone who's been skydiving once feels the need to use a photo of them with their instructor in their profile where you can't see what they look like and it doesn't really do much for us. And then we've got a photo of him in Cabo San Lucas. I feel like this guy's whole personality is that he's been to Cabo once. Rennie, it looks like you have a lot going for you. It looks like you probably go on cool trips. They just aren't being highlighted well here and you really need better photos. For that, I'm gonna give you a two out of 10. Josh is up next. Okay, this first photo is obviously not good because we can't see what he looks like and he's with a girl. I want someone who is rich and has lots of hunting land. <laughs> Wait, what? Okay, um, a photo with him and a friend, not sure which one it is, so that's gonna be a no. The photo with the kittens, this is getting me, this is getting closer. I love a good kitten photo, but it could be used, you know, in the second half of his profile if he had other great photos, but I don't love it as in his third photo. A life goal of mine is to have a trophy wife whose family is loaded. Okay, wait, is this very clowning us? My most irrational fear is to end up with someone who is poor with no land to hunt. And then we've got a dead animal. I don't know what's going on here, but I think Josh is clowning us. Zero out of 10. Last but not least, or I guess we'll find out, is Ezra. Let's see what he's got. 
Okay, him and a cute pup. All I've got to say here is this better be your dog if they're in your first photo. What would make this photo better is if he was looking at the camera. I've touched on that, but looking into the camera's eyes, making him that firm eye contact is going to help you stand out when a woman is looking at a thousand profiles. My BFF's take on why you should date me. I'm resourceful AF and staying calm is my superpower. So if we're stranded on a desert island, we'll have a good chance of survival. I love that. He's telling me things about him, but in a fun, playful way. He's not just saying, I'm super resourceful and calm, which is boring. He's resourceful AF and staying calm is his superpower. This gives me an idea of who this guy is. And honestly, I feel pretty good about being stranded on a desert island with him. I like that prompt. He's got a video second. Okay, I don't love a video for a second because it doesn't give me a great idea of what he looks like, but it does show some personality, so I'd be okay with him using that someplace in his profile. As for his third photo, it's a nice photo. His posture isn't perfect, but he's still not looking at the camera. I want to see in those first three photos, ideally number one, a photo with strong eye contact, which he's missing, but they're not, they're not bad photos. I'm looking for my partner in compassion. This city already has enough crime. That's cute. It's a play on a partner in crime, which please never use on a dating app because it is so generic, but he's using that and saying his partner in compassion. He's telling me something about who he is looking for without saying it directly. Like we saw in some of the other profiles. This is a really cute prompt. Okay, we've got a photo of him jumping into the water. It tells me he's outdoorsy, he's adventurous. Looks like he's in his underwear, so I can assume this was an unplanned, spontaneous swim. That little photo actually tells me a lot, even if it's subconscious, about who he is, so I like it. I want someone who will be the last one on the dance floor with me. That's cute, short, to the point. I know who he is, and again, who he's looking for without him saying it directly. The photo, we know it's with his sister and nephew because he specifically has that label. So we're not wondering, Ugh, is this his other family? Um, which is helpful. It tells me he's a family guy. I like that. And then we've got a photo of him mountain biking. Again, telling me how he spends his time. He's outdoorsy, he's adventurous. Overall, this is a really solid profile. I really liked the prompts because they gave me an idea of who he is and who he's looking for, for without saying it directly. His photos are pretty good. I would say he could use a couple more photos where he's looking at the camera, but overall, super solid. I'm gonna give Ezra an eight out of 10. These guys have potential, but a lot of them are shooting themselves in the foot with bad photos and uninteresting props. If you found this video helpful, make sure you tap that subscribe button for more tips on how to improve your dating life.